Hello and welcome to BI Publisher Basics and Beyond. So in this chapter, uh, we are as as you know as we as you know we are going through the uh, Excel templates. So in this chapter, we are going to see how to split the output into multiple pages. Um, we would uh, look at the basics in this chapter, and uh, we will learn some advanced features um, in the in the next chapters. So. Um, we are going to use some grouping, regrouping. We are going to split the data uh, using multiple, you know, multiple Excel sheet. So before we proceed, as always, there's a zip file right below this video. Feel free to download it and uh, practice what you will learn. Make sure you have a BI Publisher add-in installed and everything. So let's look at the output. So if you look at the output, um, this is what we are going to build. Uh, we are going to build a, a template with the, you know, which will give the department department name and the employees in the department, along with the total salary for the department. It is also going to give the total salary in in the company. And if you look down at the bottom, you would see that uh, I can see a, 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 there's a department and there's a number next to it. So for a, in, in in this case, the accounting has three employees. If you need three. If you look at research, you'll have five employees. Uh, so basically, what we have done is we have split the uh, you know, report into multiple Excel sheets. So uh, you know, before we proceed, there is a caution. Um, there are certain limitations with the uh, with the Excel. Um, you know, for example, if you if you if you think that your data is above uh, sixty five thousand, uh, I, I you know it, it it may not be worth trying this out. But for um, for our sake we can use a simple uh, template so let's start we would uh, start with the lab as always with uh, uh, excel you know we're going to select if we're going to create open an excel we're going to save it as an excel uh, 97 2007 we can copy the xdo metadata from the sample file so let's look at the uh, the chapter you know the xml file that we're going to use so the very important thing with the splitting is to have the grouping accordingly. So if you have a group, so in this case, you have a group called department. So we are going to split by department. So there is a group, there's a root, there's a top group, and there's a child group. So if you need to make sure that the splitting and the group go hand in hand. So make sure you design your 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 data output, your data structure uh, to fit your splitting. So for example, if you want to split by the employees with a salary above fifty thousand and you know below fifty thousand, make sure you have a group, uh, a top level group that says uh, group salary less than fifty thousand or you know, group sal uh, something that will give them the group. So in this case, we are grouping by department. So we have a group department uh, root, and underneath that we have child department root. So you cannot either. The, 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 what I'm trying to say is, we cannot uh, regroup in a. You know, we can re, We cannot regroup and use that uh, to split. The splitting is based on the grouping that's from the output. So let's start with the sample template. Are we going to? Are we going to create a template, something like this, and? Uh, we're going to build some variables. Let's go ahead and do that. So, if you are familiarized with the other, if you are familiar with the other videos, you would see that I have created multiple versions of the. Uh, uh, as we go along, we are we are going to save at different checkpoints. So, the uh, first checkpoint is for zero. I've created a, a template for department. So, what I've done is I've mapped the department number. So, the department number. I've mapped the uh, department name. Which is from here. Department name. Then I'm going to map the the e, e name, the job, the salary. I'm going to map the uh, e name, job, and salary. So I'm going to do the group. So I'm going to select uh, because we I'm going to select uh, for each department. Uh, I want to so I want to select for each department. So I'm going to create for each uh, GD. For each GD, I'm going to create a new group. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to group a DD. So for each, basically, for each group, I would do that. And for each employee group, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to display it there. 
and uh, finally i would uh, you know i haven't put the total for the uh, for this department or anything let's go ahead and test it out and see how it comes so you go to uh, your uh, template viewer refresh and click start so it created an output something similar to this it's not fancy so our goal is not to create this we have let's go ahead and uh, um, you know let's go ahead and split this uh, you know multiple pages so let's start first step would be to um, we're going to re <coughs> we're going to uh, regroup it and uh, we can use the sheet um, well we we <coughs> the reason why we regroup is we to basically to uh, to you know to sort it and uh, you know to sort it differently and everything so let's go ahead and start from the next phase so in the second phase what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, group it um, <coughs> and basically just keep the group as the same um, we're group we're going to group it by you know for employee name we're grouping by you know uh, technically nothing changed uh, we can add sorting here if you want uh, but technically nothing changed so since we created new groups, we make sure that the groups are updated. So if you look at the group name, so I replace it the GD with group detail, mm -hmm. it's the same concept, uh, and the um, <coughs> the employee details with the employee with the employee. I replace GE with the GE details. Let's go ahead and test this out. So it's this. So nothing changed. It's the same output, except that we have a different grouping. Um, so as of so far, we haven't added the company total, employee total. Let's go ahead and uh, take care of those first. So let's go ahead and create two variables where we are going to do <coughs> department total. We are going to select the, uh, you know, we're going to basically say the current parent, yeah, the salary. Um, if there's a basically we're selecting the text field from that uh, salary and for the company total we are going to select from the top uh, from everywhere basically the whole uh, now here we are saying the current parent here we can say the um, the, the, the the entire um, group entire uh, XML anywhere there's an X, X, uh, AMP style so let's go ahead and uh, map the value so I'm going to copy this uh, X department total here and the company total here let's go ahead and run this so this is department two. So let's go and run it. So you can see the total is coming out, and you can see the total. There's no department. There's no uh, employees in this department, so it's salary zero. So our next goal is to uh, <coughs> is to uh, take next step further. One step further. So we are. <coughs> so our next step is to create the sheets. So, so creating sheets is simple. Uh, we are going to use this keyword called XDO sheet. And uh, where do we want to create the sheets on? It's basically based on the, uh, you know, the, the, the grouping. So our grouping is by GD. And uh, our sheet name is by, we can, here in the sheet name, we're concatenating the department name and the uh, account uh, employee name. So basically, we're counting how many <coughs> how many employee names are there under that same department. So let's go ahead and run it. So nothing else has changed anywhere. So everything else is the same. Um, you know, you can just check it out if you want. <coughs> uh, department details is the same. Company details is the same. I mean, employee details is the same. Let's go ahead and run this one. Wow, you can see that the, now the data is split. Well, was it no, accounting? So something is not right. The uh, the you know the information is not coming properly. Let's go ahead and do some research and see what happened. So as you noticed, uh, we didn't see any detailed data for the uh, department. In, for basically, we didn't. See, we saw a blank Excel sheets. So um, let's look at the uh, definition. So uh, ah, that's a problem. So we are grouping, so we have a, a detail, which is, we're going to split it, so we don't need this uh, detail group, because we're going to split it by the group, this group, so for each group it's going to build its own, uh, so basically this will be the group, uh, we're going to split it, and uh, you know, we don't need to refer this uh, department details. Let's go ahead and remove the department details. 
Let's go ahead and delete this. So I'm going to delete this. So we no longer have the department details. Let's go ahead and run. So I've saved it as a version four. So let's go ahead and run this. So now it looks good. So we can see there is a you know there's a different departments. Operation has one. There's no department. You know, uh, even the <coughs> because it, it it counted e name as one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know you can always uh, look and see how to fix it. But uh, you know main thing is that it's uh, it's splitting by the uh, department. So um, let's go through the uh, PowerPoint. <coughs> so in this case we started you know building the building the template. We can use the uh, define uh, to define the variables. We'll map the variable. We can regroup it. <coughs> so we're going to say uh, for each for for each group, and we're going to map the uh, group. We're going to build the employee details. Uh, so we're going to call <coughs> map the department. Got to read the output. So add the department total. The employee total. So we're going to split. We're going to split by the GD. This is where you're going to split the sheets. And this was basically this is a group. So instead of the group, we would use this as a group when you when you specify the sheet. Uh, so each uh, it, basically it's going to take the data and it's going to plug it into that sheet. So, <coughs> so we we'll use the template viewer to see the data. So you can always uh, freeze the top header and add some colors and make it beautiful. So that concludes this chapter. Uh, this chapter is primarily for um, um, you know how do you split how do you split the data into multiple sheets. So uh, it's very useful. Um, you know depending on uh, how the you know the, you know again these uh, these reports are driven by users. So if there is a need for a you know a report where there's a multiple sheets. You can definitely use it. Um, there is another way to do it. We I will show you how to do that um, in once you know in the next second in the next segment. All right. Thank you, and I'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks.